in the service, one must always choose the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> channel i am your host the talking finnish plate carrier i'm out here actually in finland and today we're actually shooting a finnish rifle it's it's if this video was a subject it would be finnish him that actually worked out really well that's, that's pretty good gentlemen i know you're on the toilet i know you're watching this uh finishing your beer i know drinking your coffee eating your baguettes make sure you like and subscribe leave a comment in the comment section down below your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm god a god of which who enjoys the sauna patreon and merchandise excellent ways to support the channel i love my patreon users Mwah. big love to you guys merchandise helps out all the costs of the channel behind the camera is going to be blue jean operator say hi blue jean hey guys <laughs> sadly savio my usual cameraman he couldn't make it out to finland because he apparently has a baby and family responsibilities whatever that means you can also hear so this is also some gunfire going on in the background so just pretend like we're fighting in the front or something which is also not too far away i guess technically so we're doing the youtube we're doing the damn thing because technically it's like my job managed to get my hands on an rk95 this is probably i would say this is probably like a janky rk95 based on the setup and the some of the things I'm seeing, I'm sure they run a lot nicer than this one. I don't want to be like shitting on the guy we borrowed it from, but I think it's just maybe his beater gun. Uh, it's hard to say, but there's, <laughs> I already got some B-roll of it, but there's some things going on here with the uh, charging handle. And then we got some loose old rail mount that he used to have. Uh, you know, it's uh, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I should have bring my guns with me, so I'm gonna rock what I got. It's customary in Finland when a rifle has served its time, you release it to the wild so it can roam free in nature. Father hell. I only ran a very limited amount of ammo, and this was due to the fact that person Yari, one of the guys that actually runs Virus Duleka, who brought us out here, he was like, hey, um, I want you guys to be able to shoot, but sadly, this is like my wartime supply of ammo. And usually that's kind of like a, a prepper term of like, all right, whatever, you're being a nerd, but actually here, <laughs> Given proximity and its history to its neighbors, it actually kind of makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Bear with me. So me actually shooting, I didn't get to shoot as much 762 by 39 through the RK95 as Blue Jean will. So tomorrow, Blue Jean is going to be running through Finnish Brutality, and he's going to have a much more in-depth experience with the RK95 platform. Or what, which one are you running tomorrow? Uh, it's the RK92. So it's a civilian equivalent of the RK95, just semi-auto. And it's going to be a much nicer example of what he got run in here. All right, gentlemen, so we have finished up Finnish Brutality, so this is gonna be part of the RK90 
to video. This is what Nick Blue Jean Operator here is running. He has now had a good amount of time behind the weapon. I had that RK95 experience that you saw in the intro. It was much jankier, not as nice as this guy right here, but this bad boy is actually pretty slick. I got to handle it a little bit. I didn't get to shoot it too much, but it really did do a good job <laughs> popping off over there. We're in combat right now, if you can't tell. That's not an actual match the, the Russians have invaded. <laughs> the, Ru the Russians are here. You can see that this is an aesthetically pleasing AK variant, and it has almost like some features that remind me of a Galil. And overall, I dig it. Probably, it's probably one of the coolest AK variants I've seen by far. Of course, they have the far away sights. Uh, you know what, before I dive to a Nick, just tell me about it. What it was like running, what you learned actually talking to the Finns that use it as their surfer's rifle too. All right, so this is the civilian variant of the RK95, so the RK92, pretty much the only Big difference is that it is semi-auto. It's not full auto. What's kind of cool about the fins here is they don't have really like the same type of SBR laws yeah, the NFA as we have restrictions here. that we have. They kind of have to jump through a few more like hoops to actually acquire these guns. Essentially, they have to. I can't remember the exact time. They have to prove that they are a like a sports shooter or mm -hmm. a hunter, mm -hmm. which they do by you know getting just it's like a checkbox kind of thing and once they check that off they can own these type of weapons they can own what they call service rifles right and this is one of the guys i borrowed this rifle from a finnish soldier who's a current soldier the ammo i used was like their what is it called the wartime stock that their say their wartime supply it was some good yeah. seiko 762 by 39. so finland is very big into like their internal defense via their uh, civilians which is actually kind of Kind of base, I think. Very base. The trigger feels a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit nicer of a trigger. Actually, it took me a little bit, a little while to kind of get used to it because I'm, I'm normally accustomed to where like a typical AK would break. Yeah. Well, here, let's go to trigger real quick. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's take a, a page well, from one of our dads. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the, we, the range flag big, out. Big, no, they're very big into safety at these matches, so we'll, we'll do it real quick. So like, yeah, we're, we're all safe. Mm. We'll uh, put your finger on it, and then I'll put my oh, yeah. finger on it. Okay. Okay. This is how we do it here. Ready? All right. Yep. So we're going down. So there's actually like a nice little wall right there's there. There's a lot of travel. Yeah, this travel, it's not as much like, it's not as mushy, I don't think, as like an AK trigger, yeah. but Whoa. but it actually breaks off pretty. Yeah, there it is. It's pretty, uh, it's a really nice trigger for an AK. Yeah. And I, wanna, I wanna feel it all by my lonesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you have that, and then you have a nice, you have a wall, just Whoa, like a what solid. The heck? That thing kind of, thing's getting a little grimy in there. Yeah. Whoa, that's I think, a little weird. I don't know if I love that, if I'm being honest. Hold on, you're doing my audience a disservice by being lower than me. You, you, oh, you, gotta, be, you, you, go. gotta, you gotta get a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I mean, they need to know how tall and angry of a ranger you are. So the, the six three. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah. I didn't do so as, as well as I was doing yesterday. Um, yeah. The first actually was actually kind of cool. Uh, the guy told me that this this optic, so we're running comp um, M5 on here Very on a side rail. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this side rail is compatible with, I don't think it is compatible with, I don't think the side rail is the same on mm -hmm. these things as a typical AK, mm -hmm. but the first round I ever fired at this gun was in the match and it hit that uh, 100, what, how, what was that it, distance? I think it was 150. 150 meters um, and it was on a spinner target. So it was like a small kind of circle, it, which was actually yeah. really cool. It was like the first time I ever fired it, it hit that target. I was like, oh cool, cool. it's zeroed. So yeah. it was zeroed, no complaints. You know, I think everything I missed was on me. I'm not, I'm not sure if I like the uh, charging handle kind of canted up this way because I'm typically used to them like sticking straight out and it's easier for me to kind of come. I'm, a, I'm an under the bottom kind of guy when I rack my, my AKs, but I like them kind of protruded more out. And I'm also not a huge you're fan guess, of- You're gonna get executed here in Finland. Oh, frick, frick, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of like this, this I, I wish it kind of had that um, enhanced safety you see on a lot of AKs these days. So I have to, I had to do the old one where you have to use your, you know, your middle finger kind of to reach out like this, which isn't a huge deal once you kind of used to it. I'm more used to just the standard index finger to do that, but. I will say there is something cool being able to watch you run a Finnish gun in a Finnish country. It's also a Finnish service rifle, right? He said yeah. it was his service rifle. Yeah, that's that's why I kind of running also very high quality Finnish ammo around high quality Finnish people. It's a very immersive experience. It's very cool, and it's something that I, I I'm not taking for granted. So it's it's a real treat. Yeah, that was that's kind of why I um, requested this rifle uh, when we came here. Mm -hmm. So big thanks to Farosalika. They provided pretty much everything you see on us right now, um, and they they were kind enough to lend me one of these rifles because I was kind of interested to see. Um, you know, what a Finnish soldier or, you know, what their military is using mm -hmm. for the most part. And 
was able to run it here just to, in using their kit and all that stuff. Nick, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me. Um, I know I'm off brand right now. Um, I'm LARPing as a, a Finnish soldier, I guess, you know, but uh, you can follow me at Blue Jean Operator. So I've got the Blue Jean Operator on Instagram and on YouTube. Very nice. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thanks for taking the time to run this RK92 and tell my audience about it. Yeah. Um, so now we, uh, as Finnish tradition dictates, we're going to go to the sauna. So um, let's go get naked. Naked.